Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it is May the 4th, International Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. Hope everybody's having a good one. And if you are a Star Wars fan, hope you're having fun today. Uh, I am. I woke up super early, uh, caught the Bad Batch uh, premiere episode on Disney+. Plus. Uh, had a great time with it. Uh, probably going to watch it again later tonight. Uh, so that was fun. And then I had, uh, you know, a good day working and listening to Star Wars music all day long while I was doing it. So that was fun. And now I'm coming on here live to hang out for a few minutes and uh, share slash unbox some of these uh, Ralph McQuarrie Star Wars postcards. Uh, as you can see, I still have this thing sealed. Um, I picked this up a long time back. I think I may have shown it on the first ever Star Wars haul show that I do on the channel. Uh, and I've kept it sealed uh, and, and in the box since then, uh, waiting for the right day slash opportunity to do an unboxing with these and uh, take a look at these postcards. And uh, May the 4th, why not? Can't think of a better day. Uh, also repping my boy Yoda here on the shirt, t-shirt today, the words of wisdom. Uh, so, and, and got this, uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order hat on, which, uh, JP gave to me in, uh, in AOK -okay recently. So I'm all decked out on Star Wars today. So, uh, it's a fun day. That's, that's pretty much, uh, what I was trying to get across. Now let's say a quick hello to the chat. Uh, we got geeks going on brother we got gorilla todd what's up uh we got magic lasso what's going on brother happy star wars day uh we got cookie just a little podcast hello there uh, good to see you no spoilers yeah i will not um i will keep this completely spoiler free on bad batch um i think i kept it spoiler free right there i just basically said i really enjoyed it and i'm gonna watch it again um, later for a second time, but I, I had a good time with it without giving anything specific whatsoever away. I had a good time with it. So, uh, we got Biggie, what's going on? New NWO, Biggie Shack. Good to see you, brother. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it, man. I don't, I don't really know what else there is to, to wait on. Uh, we got this cool, uh, Ralph McQuarrie post Star Wars postcard set. I think there's a hundred postcards in here. Yeah. 100. Uh, panoramic postcards in here. Uh, and as you can see, like the, the box set itself is like a, you know, a nice piece of art. You have Cloud City Bespin concept artwork from Macquarie right here, right on the front of it. So uh, honestly, it displays pretty awesome on the shelf just like this, but we are going to unbox it and we are going to take a look at these cards. So just bear with me. Just want to be careful and not cut this thing by accident uh we got super russ 9000 in the house what's going on russ congrats on hitting uh hitting 900 subscribers i think today so big ups on that man long overdue well deserved congrats to you uh <laughs> gorilla time let's see the goods uh getting to it brother getting right to it right here um just getting the plastic off here all right so Okay, so the back has this kind of this, I don't know, this overlay sheet. I don't know if that pops off or folds off. Let me, yeah, it pops off. So like that, right? Oh, that, nice. And what's revealed is that an original concept drawing for um, C-3PO that Macquarie had before they landed on the final C-3PO design. I'm assuming that's one of the postcards inside. Not not entirely sure. Maybe I think it opens up from the side also. Um, so let me let me see exactly the best way to crack this thing open. That's got to be one of the cards. Yeah, okay. So it comes out like that. All right. Oh, and it's got the Ralph McQuarrie like signature right there on the side. Or like a copy of it, anyway. Um, if you gotta tear it apart, keep it. No, no, I mean, I mean, it's open at this point. 
The only thing really protecting was that plastic layer and then this kind of loose gold paper thing on the back, which should be easy enough to, to put back if I really want to. But all right, so it comes out like this and this, uh, you know, this in, inner box, if you will, holds the postcards. There you got the Macquarie signature as well. This is the outer box. So this is like the case or the shell for it. So pretty nice packaging. This is like pretty robust. Like this isn't thin and flimsy or anything like that. It's pretty nice. So setting that to the side real quick. How's my audio level? Can you guys hear me all right? Just let me know. Uh, I'm always curious on these solo streams, what the quality is on the other end. What's up, J Salsa23 in the house? He, uh, good to see you, man. Your, um, your, uh, your, your painted stormtrooper uh, helmet pop thing that you a-okayed me is right there, right there, on the on the right far right corner of my Star Wars shelf. It's the bookend piece. So shout out to Jay Salsa23 for that. It's up there. All right, audio is good. All right, cool. Thanks. All right. So you already saw that the that first one. That was the C3PO concept design. Love that image. Really, really cool. So that's the first postcard. And as you can see, these are actual postcards. They've got you know place for the stamp place places for the stamps. You got places to write. Uh, you got places to uh, put the address, the, uh, the the recipient address and everything. So uh, I don't know. Maybe I might send some of these out in the community. We'll see, man. If anyone's interested, leave a comment, uh, et cetera. I may, pick, I may pick some of these out and send some of these out because uh, what am I going to do with 100 postcards sitting in a box? You know what I mean? Uh, although they're, they're really, really, really cool images, all Ralph McQuarrie. Star Wars concept art. All right, here's the second one. I think I've seen this image before. Got Vader, a lightsaber battle. I'm not 100% sure on what character he's kind of a little bit of a glare here, but let me know if you guys can see the postcard art clearly or not on the screen. Uh, but that's a pretty cool one too. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm, I guess I sh I'm not gonna worry about the order that these are in for now. Okay, third postcard. This is another Bespin image, Cloud City, and a Tie Fighter. I, that's really cool, right there. Look at that. Ralph McQuarrie is just was just a genius, man. Now that would be probably up there my all-time like biggest possible original art grail would be to get some sort of ralph Macquarie original piece whether it's like a concept pencil drawing or something more elaborate um not that i could ever afford to get something like that or even track it down because of the lucas museum uh i'm pretty sure all the majority of that stuff is going to that lucas museum uh, what's up? Thunder House Design is in the house. Happy for it to you as well. Okay, it looks good. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, that one's a cool one, man. I like that one. Okay, what do we have here next? Um, not one hundred percent. Is this is this a Death Star exterior and some sort of space vehicle going on? Uh, I'm not going to be able to pinpoint exacts on a lot of these so you know don't expect that of me but that's a pretty cool image as well uh yeah cookie saying that, yeah that would be a fortune to get original ralph Macquarie artwork they do not come up often very difficult but that's a cool image right there we got what is this one this one's a uh imperial uh tie fighter pilot from cockpit view a oh, y-wing concept yep there you go. Thunderhouse with the assist Y Wing concept right there. This is a, I believe this is a TIE Fighter pilot, pilot uh, cockpit with the Death Star and the Millennium Falcon uh, out the window. That's a really cool image. I've already lost count like on which postcard number it is. So it's going to be impossible for me to keep track of that. But 
I'm just going to keep rolling through these, sharing these postcard art with you guys. All right. Um, what is this? Um, it's not really a cantina scene, but it's some sort of exterior exterior scene. I'm assuming it's a Tatooine scene right there. I do see C-3PO and R2-D2 in the background right there. Pretty cool. Let me know if I should get this closer or not, um, or if it's visible where I'm where I'm showing it. But that one's got a lot of background characters in it. I'm gonna move my uh, drink over here so I don't spill on this. All right, let me uh, need to get more of these out of the box at once. There we go. Okay. Next one. Oh, okay. This is this one's. Uh, what is that vehicle that the that the uh, Jawas use? One of those with the uh, is that twin moons? Very cool. Oh, this one's cool. Is this a um, stormtrooper with a lightsaber? Look at that. Sandcrawler, that's it. What's up, Hialeah? I would highlight your comment, but this is this is like ultimate multitasking here. <laughs> um, <laughs> Biggie's warning me about the dangers of collecting toys. <laughs> you can't you can hardly walk through them. Um, there's Hile. What's going on, brother? Uh, Thunderhouse missed the beginning. Where did you find these? Um, you know what, Thunder? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, I, if you want, the, it may have been something as simple as Amazon. It may have been, it may have been the Disney store. I'm not 100% on it, if I'm honest. Um, I may have mentioned some details on where I found this uh, on the the Star Wars Mega Hall show thing that I do. So if you're if you are if you're that curious, you could go back and watch the first episode of that on my channel. There's a playlist for it on my channel uh, because I picked this up like a while back and just never opened it because I wanted to wait for May the fourth. So uh, that's pretty much the backstory on that, but I think it's pretty easily available. Like this postcard set, I don't think it's like rare or anything like that. No, no. Like I literally took the plastic off of the uh, the box at the beginning of the unboxing. Like it's a really cool box. It's got you know Ralph Macquarie's signature branded on there and everything like that. Um, it's a really cool, yeah, definitely a cool set. Uh, not vintage, just showcasing the vintage uh macquarie concept art via postcards and these are actual like i said earlier these are actual postcards where you can put postage write a message put in a um address and whatnot uh it looks like this is some sort of vehicle concept maybe it's an x-wing i'm not it's like kind of zoomed in but you also see the exterior of a moon or a planet right there um, next, moving on. Here's another interior shot. Assuming this is like an Empire Star Destroyer on board a Star Destroyer or something like that. Cool image. Um, what is this? Uh, this looks kind of like a Millennium Falcon in a hangar concept image. Like I've seen some of these and I haven't seen a lot of these. So it's, it's interesting to go through this set uh, and just check these out actually. So that's pretty, yeah, let me get a little bit closer. All right. Uh, I'm assuming this is a Tatooine concept right here. That's sweet. Epic image right there. All right. Uh, this looks like Yavin. Rebel base. 
concept artwork. Uh, here's another Millennium Falcon, and then you see you got C-3PO, Chewbacca, Obi-Wan, Luke, and, and R2-D2. With the, uh, the Falcon right there. Yo, what's going on? Uh, no good comics in the house. What's up, Justin? Uh, yeah, the hat's pretty cool. This is a Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order hat uh, that JP hooked me up with. Uh, a little while ago, uh, Biggie's saying another year goes by and I'm the only person that he knows with the 30 cent. You mean the 35 cent? The 35 cent is the variant. The 30 cent is the regular one. Um, I do have both, though. <laughs> um, that's a cool concept image right there. Sorry, I got to organize these cards on my desk real quick uh, before, it, before it gets out of hand. Wow, this is interesting. Um, not quite sure which vehicle that is, but that's a lot of, uh, exha uh, exhaust or engines right there. Is that clear? Um, pretty cool image. Oh, okay. This is recognizable. You guys don't need me to explain what that is. About to go swinging. Right there, with Luke and Leia. Ah, blockade runner. Says Gorilla Todd. Nice, nice pull, nice pull there. Um, what is this? Okay, this looks like Chewie being detained by some stormtroopers on a bridge. Yeah, man, these are definitely dope. Like, Ralph McQuarrie concept Star Wars art is always super beautiful to look at. Uh, what's up, Simon R. in the house? Good to see you, man. Happy Star Wars Day. Uh, Thunder is saying, it's amazing how 40 years later, they're still my... They, yeah, they really are, dude. Guy was prolific and a genius. I love that one. I've seen, I've seen large poster size prints. Of this one specifically with the TIE fighter shooting at the X-Wing. That's one of my favorite uh, Macquarie's, Macquarie's that I've seen already before out there. So um, very, very cool. Oh, was that uh, was that image where Chewie was being detained Cloud City? That that makes that might make, that makes sense. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Thunder was saying that the snow spider creatures episode two of season two of Mandalorian were inspired by Macquarie designs. That is very true. It was, um, I think that was mentioned in the, the behind the scenes, uh, uh, show for Mandalorian. I think what's it called gallery or something like that. Um, here's, here's an X-wing in the trench run X-wing in the trench run classic star Wars imagery. From Macquarie. Man, that one's cool. Um, this one. Okay, I recognize this exterior shot from the film, and then I remember you literally seeing the X-Wings flying off planet. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about. Cool, cool picturesque shot right there. Um, oh, here we go. This is... Uh, this is the walk, the walk, the walking up of the, the, the lead characters for the medal ceremony at the end of Star Wars. Probably hard to see the individual character level <laughs> back here, but they're there uh, in that, in the background right there. Um, but cool. Uh, <laughs> no pics. Yeah. Not, not, not here. Not on this show. Uh, <laughs> Different. Uh, that's a different day. Uh, is there a Star Trek day? Like, have Star Trek fans like landed on a single day to to go all out geeky about Star Trek? Um, I'm not a Trekkie, so I, I just I wouldn't know. But um, Thunder. Now you have to hunt down Macquarie concept. <laughs> oh man, I think that would be a big challenge. Um, Cookie saying, have you ever seen the video of the throne room without John Williams score? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. 
Um, and you are right. That is that is pretty funny. Uh, okay, here we have some uh, some sand people, and I'm not sure what this wreckage is or whatever, but. Cool Tatooine imagery. Sorry about that glare. Not sure if that's, I don't know if it's avoidable really. But. And uh, okay, we've got an exterior of the, I think this is exterior of the Death Star with the Millennium Falcon. That's rad. There. Okay. Um, is that Chewy on here? Uh, I, my light's not great, but I think you see Chewy right there. Um, more Cloud City stuff. Biggie saying, I'd like to see original lightsaber with the crap, crappy think plastic. Never see those around. Uh, I actually don't have any lightsabers, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, whether it be those old school plastic like toy ones or the new, you know, a lot of the newer end like high end hilts that they make that are really specific to specific characters. I, ha I have just haven't really dabbled in that. I'm not sure if I really have the appropriate like display area or space or frankly just energy or effort to to get into to the saber collecting side of star wars but you never know never say never this is the image that was on the cover of the box set so it is the matching postcard image for the for the cover, essentially. So that's a nice one. Cloud City. More uh, Cloud City stuff. Now this is interior city stuff. Oh man, the next one caught my eye. One of my favorite scenes from Empire. Here we go. Vader at the head of the conference table <laughs> on Bespin. And then here you have Chewie, Luke, Leia, and uh, Lando. Wish she could see a little bit more of the detail on it. But I think when I, when I bring the card too close to the camera, it kind of goes out of focus, I guess. But that's a sweet one. That is a really sweet one. Um, ooh. We got some ad uh, This we got a, we got some Hoth Hoth postcards coming up right here. Gorilla Todd saying, "I have two of the master replicas buried in a store storage somewhere." <laughs> um, Russ came close to getting a lightsaber a few months ago, just to. Just to duet a lady I was talking to on TikTok. Yo, you should have done it, bro. Should have done it, man. That would have been impressive, man. I would have given you my number. No, but. <laughs> <laughs> Prototype Boba Fett. Yeah. Here's a uh, crashed AT-AT -AT 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 on Hoth. Uh, more Hoth stuff. Ooh, this one's inside the Hoth. We got inside the Hoth base and the Falcon right there. I did see that, um, Thunder, because uh, that was the thing that they were teasing that they teased out at some Disney investor thing, which wasn't shown to the public and then caused a lot of media speculation. They put out some videos saying that they're part of their immersive, like 
hotel experience. They're going to use that technology. And they release this video of Ray, like the, the, not Daisy Ridley, but like a girl that plays Ray at galaxy's edge using that lightsaber thing today. And it was looked really awesome. Um, yo, 90 Chad. Good to see you, man. Been a minute since I've seen you. Uh, happy for to you and to Luke, man. May the fourth be with you. Happy Star Wars Day. Uh, Biggie's saying he's got a black series, Luke Blues. I'm, I'm assuming that's the Saber. Star Wars is 90. Oh, yeah, okay. More, more Hoth. Okay. Okay, we got more Hoth. This is getting a little bit more interior of the base, and you got C3PO and R2 in it. Oh, we got. Uh, oh, this is a. This is when. Uh, this I think this is a back to tank. Back to tank concept. Got a pro, I think it's a. I've got a probe droid. That's beautiful, man. I I could put that on a on a wall, uh, <laughs> if I had it like you know ten times larger than this postcard. But uh, awesome, dude. Let me know, man. Hit me up. Let's catch up soon. Biggie is YouTube, yeah. Yeah, Hoth is definitely one of the coolest settings, man. One of the most memorable planets in Star Wars with probably one of, if not the most memorable battle, like, on a planet. Um, well, Endor is pretty memorable also, obviously. Um, they're all memorable. Who knows? What am I even saying? Uh, <laughs> another Hoth exterior. Right here. For sure. It does, although it does remind me a little too much of like winter <laughs> in the Northeast, but that is what it is. Uh, we got more Hoth. Um, I guess this is the inside of that dome thing. Whew. On the base. Oh, cool. We got exterior reconnaissance in the snow. Yeah, dude. I love playing Hoth on, on Battlefront. It's fun stuff. Uh, Biggie's skeptical on this saber technology thing i mean i don't know man we'll see like i don't think it's something that they're saying that they're gonna go sell in the disney store or at the shop just yet i think it's still probably more for like performance or for show than it is for like personal use at this point like i don't know anything about the technology at all but i guess we'll all find out uh oh cool so we got we got a dagobah luke on the x-wing is that Yoda or no, it's R2. Sorry. Boom. Todd saying Empire was the first one he saw in the theater that he remembers. I mean, that's a that's a that's a reason to have a special place in your heart, but it, it just in general has a special place, I think, in a lot of Star Wars fans' hearts. Um yeah, maybe it's hologram. I, I don't know. Well, I'm sure we'll find out more eventually. But cool. All right. Uh, what is this? Is this okay? I think this is like leaving Cloud City. Man, Macquarie just had some beautiful, beautiful artwork, man. Oh, man, this is awesome. So you have Darth Vader on the deck of a Star Destroyer.
That's freaking badass. I love how these postcards are just perfectly obscuring my face. <laughs> By the way, guys, how does that Star Wars poster look back there on the wall? Like, it's pretty big. You see that? If I, like, duck my head down, you can see, see almost the whole poster. It's a huge poster, but it's kind of far away back there. But it's still, I think it's pretty, it's visible on, on camera. So I'm happy with that, that poster. Oh, man. So we got, <laughs> we got uh, Luke and uh, Yoda concept Yoda doesn't exactly look like the final form uh, on Dagobah in uh, in Yoda's pad Yoda's crib baby look at that kind of looks like a uh, man I don't know More like a gremlin than Yoda or something like that I don't know cool image though I mean that's epic um at first, I thought this might have been the the spider design thing, but no, it's just more ex, uh, Dagobah exteriors, Luke and uh, Yoda concept Yoda. Oh, we got my best friend Mr. Garrell in the house. What's going on, brother? Happy Star Wars Day! Make sure you guys go check out the Bounty Hunters crew on Mr. Garrell's channel. I think they're going live later today in a bit to chat Bad Batch and Star Wars Day in general. So go check them out for sure. Yeah, these are really cool, bro. They're all postcards too, man. Like you could actually send these out, uh, which makes it even cooler. Got a Millennium Falcon. And another Falcon. I um, don't know the name of this creature off the top of my head. Forget it. But we all know what it is <laughs> from Empire. Ooh, okay. These cruisers? Gotta love the space scenes, man. Chad's talking about the Bad Batch. Yeah, I really liked it. Uh, I promised Cookie no spoilers, so I'm not talking any specifics, but I did really like the show. I thought the the the, the subtle Easter eggs were good. Uh, I thought they didn't overdo it on, you know, straying too far outside of the story that they're telling, which I'm happy about. I don't need it to, like, connect to a bazillion other things. I liked it. Um, looking forward to. I'm not sure how many total episodes it is. That's the part I'm not. Does anyone know how many total episodes the Bad Batch season is going to be? Uh, if anyone knows that, let me know. Yeah, right. This is not a cave. Exactly. Exactly. That's a classic one. I mean, that's one of like one of the the, the creatures that sticks in a lot of Star Wars fans' minds about that movie. Uh, so I think Geralt doesn't know how many episodes. Is that what the nope is about? What's up, John? John's Comics with Kids is in the house. Good to see you, John. Just going through all these Macquarie postcards. These are, these are really fun, man. So I'm assuming this is Death Star Interior? Yes. Space Slug. Yeah, exactly. Oh, is it 16 episodes? Really? That many? Feels like that a lot to me if that's true um i'm not sure i haven't seen that number anywhere but you could you're probably right yeah 16 okay well that's good to hear because i was expecting like eight or something like that so uh so we got interior death star and okay we got now we have the most famous scene in movies <laughs> Uh, right here, uh, epitomized on this one postcard uh, concept image from the legend, Ralph McQuarrie, Vader, and Luke. 
So that must be, so that's got to be Bespin, not the Death Star, right? Oh, look at this one. You got Vader barreling down on Luke right here. <laughs> Luke, I am your daddy, yeah. <laughs> Clone War episodes were like 20 plus, so I think it's fair. Yeah, I guess, but the final Clone War season, which is the only Disney Plus produced season, I think didn't have 20 plus episodes. I think it had... 12 or something like that or maybe i don't i don't remember honestly i was just because so far with disney plus it seems like the seasons of for things that they release are like more economical number of episodes like quality over quantity kind of thing so 16 episodes sounds like a lot to me based on everything disney plus has done so far with with between the star wars and the marvel stuff but i'm i'm, I'm all for it man <laughs> i'm not going to complain with more Star Wars. I'm not, I'm not that kind of fan. So, um, give me the, give me, <laughs> give, give me all the Star Wars you can give me Disney plus. So if, if bad batch is 16 episodes, I'll take every a single episode, man. Um, all right. So we got, I don't know how much we got left. We got about a third of these left. I mean, we already saw a good chunk of these. So this is what I've shown so far. And this is what I've got left to show. So um, what is this one? Uh, we got JP. What's going on, brother? Good to see you wearing your hat. Or my hat, I guess, but the hat you gave me. Uh, okay, so what is this? Well, it's Luke, but I'm not sure what this scene is exactly. Boom. Okay, we got more Cloud City stuff. We got Leia, R2, C3PO, and Chewie in this scene. Man, these are really cool. So, like I said, if anyone's interested in in these, I can send you information and or send you one of these physically in the mail by, uh, you know, giving me your address or whatever. But that one's cool. You got Han with the pistol or with the blaster. You got, what is that? You got uh, Chewie and C-3PO and like a Pieta. <laughs> There's a C-3PO Pieta, and then you've got uh, Leia entering. That's a cool, cool image. Okay, Han's being captured here, and you got Vader. Okay, so it's a one and done. They're not going to do more seasons. That makes sense. I wouldn't expect Bad Batch to have multiple seasons or anything like that. Um, yeah, where have you been? <laughs> we know where he's been. He's been raising Luke to be the future of future hope of all mankind. There you go. Um, all right. Uh, okay, so we got Luke here hanging by a thread uh, at the end of Empire after, uh, after <laughs> you know, learning the biggest shock of his life about who his father is. Yep, Bespin in ESB. That one's awesome. Okay, and here we have, uh, here we have the repair to his arm after it got chopped off um, back on the Falcon here with uh, 3PO and uh, Leia attending to his wounds right there. Well, I guess 3PO is just standing there and this other droid is attending to the wounds. Um, but that's a iconic image right there. Speaking of iconic images, this is how we close out Empire. Episode five, this is the concept art. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous, man. That one's, that one's amazing. 
Bow down to Ralph McQuarrie. Got a little bit more Cloud City stuff. Yeah, dude, I was just kind of thinking that in my head, man. Like how big of a how big of a frame would you need to arrange all of these in order and like create a storyboard out of it like that? Probably would take up my whole freaking wall or more. I honestly don't like there's just there's a hundred of these. So okay. Um oh okay, going back to a little bit more hoth stuff from uh the beginning of the movie. That's rad. Oh yeah. That one's classic. Can't go wrong with that one. Ooh, okay. We're approaching Luke Vader fight concept art although we kind of got some glimpses of the after the fight earlier but here's more of like the meat and potatoes of the fight <laughs> yeah we have spotted imperial walkers for sure okay here we go here's some luke versus vader action right here Man, I love these. Yeah, I'm so tempted to put these together somehow and like create one large thing out of it. I just don't think, I mean, look, I mean, this is what we've already gone through. That's a lot. And then there's still this many more left for a hundred of these. It's a lot. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna, I'll try to get through the, the final ones a little bit quicker if I can. More Walker stuff. Falcon. Right. Uh, we got more Dagobah stuff here. We got we got uh, Yoda on Luke's back, which is classic. And made the film. Um, oh, this is interesting. We've got this is uh, so this is Luke in the X Wing with Yoda in front of it, but then also a force ghost of Ben Kenobi. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, the ad ads are pretty tight. I love that one. All right. Um, I recognize this. Is that Jabba's? I think we're, I think we're getting into Return of the Jedi stuff now. Try to go through these quicker. Sorry, guys. Taking a second. Oh, we got throne room stuff. We got Palpatine. We got Vader. Palpatine. Well, I don't know if this is the final throne room. Is this Mustafar or something? Look at that. Hut Palace. Yeah, exactly. Jabba. I don't know if that's visible. Okay, we got Endor, got 3PO, Ewoks. God of the Ewoks, C3PO. <laughs> right, what is this? Uh, kind of a mechanical shot here. I'm not 100% what that is. 
Okay. These two look very sim similar. Just exteriors. Oh, yeah. Okay. Another exterior. Yeah, the indoor stuff is pretty cool looking. That C3PO Ewok one is awesome. Uh, looks like we have a second. We, this is second Death Star under construction concept. Concept art for Death Star 2. Ooh, look at this lengthy corridor with Vader and Luke side by side. I think that's Vader and Luke side by side. Yeah. All right, we got... All right, this is the... Um, this is where Boba, <laughs> Boba bites it and then comes back later. Oh, look at this. This is a nice uh, mountain shot. This reminds me of Star Wars Rebels almost. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Getting into some good stuff from Return of the Jedi now. Look at that. Got more stuff from Jabba's Plank. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, right. That's exactly what I was thinking. Like it, they you, they must have repurposed that for the, the for the temple on Lethal. Um, <laughs> right. Um, oh, we got uh, a little. I think this is a Bib Fortuna. A Bib Fortuna with C three PO and uh, R two there. Oh. Okay, we got Jabba. In Jabba's palace with Luke in the black outfit, Jedi Knight Luke. That's amazing. Look at that. All right. Got the band. <laughs> Nate job. <laughs> that's a cool, that's a cool shot. Uh, we've got uh, more three PO R two stuff. Job is palace stuff. Right? Yeah, it's Boba's now, bitch. Bib Fortuna. Say bye-bye. Oh, here we go. Endor chase. All right. Getting to the end here, towards the end. Imperial guards. Look at that, man. And Vader, of course. Beautiful. Uh, what is this? More indoor stuff? Got Vader on indoor. In the uh, the Empire base, you got the ATSTs scaring away the Ewoks. That's 
That's cool. Oh, okay. Now you have Vader versus Luke on the second Death Star with Emperor Palpatine on the throne. Now you have Emperor Palpatine with the lightning strike. Is this an A-wing? Here's another space battle, or not, or, yeah, space battle slash space shot. Uh, more space battle stuff. That one's cool. Look at that. Okay. Get these nice and neat. So I'll topple over. Um, okay, and then we're going to end with two bangers, I think, here. We got an X-Wing and the Millennium Falcon swirling around right here. And last but not least, this is probably one of the most famous uh, Ralph McQuarrie paintings slash images. I consider getting a very large like reprint of this framed and like putting it up somewhere but i'm not even sure where i would have the room for it but um but here we go i mean the rebel alliance in all its glory mon mothma and all i mean that's i mean that that's gotta be the most epic Macquarie character, you know, group shot image or whatever, uh, by far. So that is the 100th postcard in the set. So we just went through all 100 postcards in the Ralph Macquarie Star Wars postcard set. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of those. Uh, if you missed any of them, just go back, catch the rest on the rewind. We started with that, and we ended with that. So just some epic, epic stuff on these postcards. So I'm going to put these back in, see, see if they fit like a glove, or let's see, let's see how hard this is to put back together. <laughs> I'm going to put this back together in real time so you guys can see that Put it, it got it all got put away nice and neat, but let me uh, gotta be careful with these, man. These are uh, kind of finicky. Let's see. Oh, okay, there we go. I tried. I was I was trying to put too many of them back at the same time. I think the box didn't like that. So, all right. So all 100 postcards fit back into the box like that, and then. They go into the sleeve, like that, and then take the, the gold foil thing, and I'll stick it in the back, Let's see if this fits. Uh, all right, well, this last part I'll do off, off camera just so I'm not on here for forever. But, yeah, I mean, this set is fantastic. If I remember correctly, it wasn't that expensive, and it's, you know, it's pretty new and, like, widely available and stuff like that. It's not something – it's not like a ghost you have to go chase down. It's just a really cool little set here, and you get a lot of cool art for the money. Uh, and you could also send them to people if you want. Uh, yeah, it's a trap. <laughs> Uh, you got, yeah, Radis. Uh, thank you, Thunder. Appreciate it. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. Uh, like I said before, make sure you guys catch uh, Mr. Garel, uh, Kachung, and Hoser on their show. Um, in a bit, I'm not 
I think it's at eight o'clock, maybe nine o'clock. I, I, I don't, don't quote me on that. I just know it's after I'm done. So I'll be hanging out over there and, uh, Happy rest of your Star Wars day. Go watch The Bad Batch. Go watch some Star Wars movies. Enjoy yourself. Have a good time uh, celebrating this day. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow for Revenge of the Fifth, maybe. I don't know. I'm probably not on YouTube, but I'll post something on Instagram for Revenge of the Fifth. Um, we'll catch you guys later. Have a great night. Where do I begin? I see the hate. They don't want to see me win. Think the pilots like I got more coming in. Top down, throw the money in the wind. I don't want it. Oh, heard these scammer had to switch up the accounts. Moving paper, gotta call it my account. It's all in, I can have it coming out. They through the struggle, I can see another drought. Yeah, it's not a purse, it's a merch. Six figures, what's a gold? Now it's nine or a hearse. Put it work. Used to pull up, not swerve. No time for the snakes, time to put them in the dirt. That's work. I gotta get it, it's in my DNA. You only see the highlights, don't know what it takes. Last year, stressing, got no sleep. Now I'm right between the courts, out of no.